It is 32 degrees. Hey Wizzle, we're going. So, I hosed Tizzy down, like literally soaked her before putting her on the lorry. And now, I am taking her for a little spin in the pond in one of the local woods. So it's like DIY horse hydro. You excited? Yeah? It's very warm. Even with all the water on, you can like really see it's evaporated. Dan stirrups. <laughs> My stirrups. Hey. Old hat. <laughs> One tucked up pony. DIY horse hydro. Um, I couldn't afford, there is a horse treadmill quite near to me, but until recently I haven't been able to afford to have the sessions regularly. So 
this is what we do. We come to the, the pond in the woods here and literally just walk up and down in the pond for 20 minutes or um, come here and walk in and out of the ford. So it's really good water training. The hydro training so is really good. It offloads the joints and makes them use their muscles differently. When I sent Aziz away to do three weeks on the treadmill, um, he went to Reedwood rehabilitation livery and he came back looking absolutely hench and so fit so you can really see the benefits um, now I earn a little bit more I think next season I'll hope to take Qantas on the one nearby and kind of make it a regular part of my training especially at the start of the season but for now ponds will do for scraping today we're gonna leave it on so she can be in the lorry nice and cool the only reason I would scrape is if I didn't want water dripping for any reason like I'm putting them in the stable or they're going in the lorry and it's it's not hot but otherwise I always just leave the water on especially in hot weather to let it evaporate cool you up huh yeah 